Kumiragam, a rustic, quaint village on the banks of the Vembanad Lake, is one of the most sought-after backwater destinations in the South Indian state of Kerala. The village of Kumaragam is part of Kuttanad, a region dominated by agricultural activities. Some of the cultivated lands in this region lie below the sea level. Kuttanad, spread over Alapura, Kotem, and Pattanam Titta districts in the state of Kerala, is marked by many unique and fascinating geographical features. About 150 years back, Henry Baker, a young Englishman, decided to settle down at Kumaragam due to its captivating beauty. He converted part of the backwaters into paddy fields and started rice cultivation. Baker is also credited for pioneering the cultivation of rubber on man-made embankments. Besides his interest in agriculture, Baker also took care of the environment. At Kumaragam, he planted mangroves for protecting the embankments. He also left a sizable portion of the land undisturbed for the birds, which later developed into a bird sanctuary and eventually turned out as a biological intervention for pest management. In the late 70s, the legal heirs of Henry Baker handed over the land to the Kerala Tourism Development Corporation, KTDC. The story of Kumaragam as a tourist destination begins from there. Within three decades, Kumaragam earned the reputation of a world-renowned backwater destination. The extent of tourism development that took place in Kumaragam led to new situations that emerged due to voluntary relocation of local residents and grievances from the part of those who stayed back. Those who remained were not satisfied with the social and economic benefits generated by tourism development in their area. They also aired concerns with regard to over-exploitation of resources and environmental degradation. The situation slightly warranted the introduction and practice of responsible tourism in Kumaragam, which had already made its impact in other parts of the world. Responsible tourism has at its core the development of local community by sharing the social economic benefits triggered by tourism related activities at a destination. Department of Tourism Government of Kerala envisaged a plan jointly with the Kumaragam Panchayat, the local self-administration body, and Kudamashri, a self-help group for women. A destination-level responsible tourism committee and a responsible tourism cell were also formed as part of the initiative to work under the guidance of the Kumaragam Panchayat. GITPAC, the nodal agency selected for implementing responsible tourism projects in the state, formed a technical support unit in association with the Kumaragam Panchayat. While all these were happening, it was felt that there should be an agency to market the farm producers of local farmers to hoteliers and also to protect the local producers from getting exploited by intermediaries. The selection of six female and two male entrepreneurs, jointly by the Kudumbashri and Kumaragam Panchayat, led to the formation of a micro-enterprise unit called Samrudi. The general grievance of the local people at Kumaragam was that the players in the tourism industry did not bother to buy the local produce. But a detailed study revealed that the hotels couldn't buy the local products unless and until regular supply of required quantities round the year was ensured. The situation was resolved by preparing a farming calendar and fixing the share of produce for each farmer. Instead of attempting to produce large quantities at a time, individual outputs were worked on the basis of quantity and time of the requirement of hoteliers. This ensured stability to the system and a balance between demand and supply. 
A committee consisting of the representatives of the Panchayat, Responsible Tourism Cell, Kudumbashri and the District Tourism Promotion Council has been formed to review and finalize the process of farm producers every month. A micro-enterprise was formed to collect farm producers from all possible local sources, irrespective of the size of their output. This has enabled even a family living in a 100 square meter plot to sell their produce without bothering about the quantity. This could be two or three plantain leaves, one papaya or few mangoes, and in the process they could earn a minimum of rupees 1,500 a month. And those without their own land cultivate by taking land on lease, individually or jointly. Certain Kudumbashri units are following the model in Kumaragam. A restaurant was also set up to serve food to tourists and local people in the traditional style. Walking tours to explore the lifestyle in the village of Kumaragam is quite a fascinating experience for the visitors. During these tours, villagers share their experiences with the visitors. It could be sharing the know-how of certain technologies, like those employed in fishing, or any other aspect of their daily life and work. The artisans of the area also get a chance to present their work before the travel community. This in turn enables them to fetch decent prices for their work. And it is the same case with artists in the region. Environmental protection and awareness creation is integral to responsible tourism campaign. Natural farming techniques, methods of waste recycling, protection of biodiversity are some of the important components. Partners and stakeholders in the tourism industry giving proper attention to such components are always given due recognition. Local development initiatives with community participation are also being taken up. The concept and practice of responsible tourism in Kumaragam, tailor-made to promote development in the region, is already showing signs of success that would further strengthen the overall development of the destination. And it is only a matter of time before this success story of responsible tourism gets replicated in other destinations in Kerala.